past perfect, and past perfect progressive. For more information on these verb tenses, look in your textbook at chart 3-5 on page 50, which will explain the past perfect, and at chart 3-7 on page 55, which will explain the past perfect progressive. Past perfect describes an event in the past that occurred before another event in the past. For instance, Steve invited me to have dinner with him, but I had already eaten. There are two events in the past in this sentence. First, Steve invited me to dinner, and then, I had already eaten. Which event occurs first? Well, first, I ate, and then Steve invited me to have dinner with him. Because the second event occurs first in chronological order, we use the past perfect to indicate that this event occurred before the other event. For the second event, we use the simple past. The past perfect is formed with had plus the past participle. The past perfect is not very common anymore in spoken English, but you will see it in written English. It's also usually not necessary if the sentence contains words like before and after. Obviously, words like before and after give us a sense of time and sequence so that we know the order that events occurred, so we don't need the verb tense to help us understand the order of events. For instance, I stopped by the post office before I went home. We have two events in the past in this sentence, but we know the order that they occurred because of the word before, so we don't need to say, I had stopped by the post office before I went home, though we could, and that would be correct. The past perfect progressive describes an event in the past that was in progress before another event occurred. It is important to note here that both events are now finished. The past perfect progressive looks like this. Jason had been sleeping for only three hours when a strange noise woke him up. Had been sleeping is the past perfect progressive. This is an event that was in progress before another event in the past, which was the strange noise waking him up. Now, what is the difference between the past perfect progressive and the present perfect progressive? The present perfect progressive describes events that are still happening now. The past perfect progressive, however, describes events that are completely finished. The only difference is that these events were in progress in the past. Now you might be thinking, this sounds like the past progressive, and you're right, because the past progressive also describes events in the past that were in progress in the past. The difference between the past progressive and the past perfect progressive is that with the past perfect progressive, you will use since or for. As in the sentence, Jason had been sleeping for only three hours. Obviously, the past perfect progressive is formed with had plus been plus the ing form of the verb. It is also not a very commonly used verb tense. Now it's your turn. Read the sentences and decide if you need the past perfect or the past perfect progressive. Let's look at the answers. First, that dog finally stopped barking a few minutes ago. He had been barking since noon. We have two events in the past. The dog stopped barking, and the dog had been barking since noon. The second event happened first, and it was in progress for a long period of time, which we know because of the phrase since noon. Therefore, we know that we need to use the past perfect progressive. In the second sentence, I had never seen my cousin's apartment before I went to his party last night. We have two events in the past. I had never seen my cousin's apartment, and I went to his party last night. 
The first event listed occurs first before the other event in the past. And we don't have a length of time for this. So we want to use the past perfect, had never seen. For more practice, please do exercise 23 on page 51 and exercise 30 on page 55.